What is going on guys? We're going to do a quick rundown of how to basically do a very quick material pass on a quick asset. So, file new, uh, we'll discard the one we've got. We want to make it only 1k because it's just a basic share. I'm going to load it in and click OK. First things first, come to texture set settings and click bake textures. Without this, it won't understand the curvature. So if we wanted like um, something that scratched on the edge or something, it won't work unless you bake your textures first. So bake that. Made that 1k, I click bake. That will take up to, that will take 10 to 15 seconds usually, um, up to a minute for really, really high like resolution assets. After that's done, all you gotta do is come into your smart materials or your materials, whichever one you've got. I've got a video showing you how to install some materials. So if you've got, if for example, you ain't got some of the materials I'm about to use, you can just find them online on this. So click that, you'll go to a, a material library. So we want wood and I'm pretty sure it's called wood painted and plug that on, boom. One thing you need to understand, so we don't obviously want that on the pillow, right click this and you either have white or black mask. If we go black, you'll get this, which will allow us to paint like what we want. Or if you press four on your keyboard and then click, so that will just do faces now. And if we click this one here over the right, it will uh, do entire sort of assets like that. But what will be even quicker is if we turn this to a white mask instead, press X, no, press X again. So what X would do is go between either, so if I click something, it'll turn it off. But if I have it um, all the way on, which is also pressing X, it will apply it. So you see that? We obviously don't want it on the pillow. And that's pretty much done there. You can edit the material if you don't quite like what it looks like. So let's say, so they're always more complex. So you usually have to click on the um, one here click your fields and stuff or your levels and move stuff around. Um, but for example, if I just wanted to get rid of some of the paint on here, we can go to here, uh, is it here? Oh, there you go, you can go to here, that one, transformations, and I can start turning this up and down. So it's, it's about finding where the setting is, if you do wanna change it, but that's where that setting is. And you can have a bit more contrast in it if you would like like that. Let, let's leave it like that. Let's say we like that. Actually, I don't like the contrast as much. Let's leave it like that. That's cool. Now let's add a, a material to the pillow. All you do is we've got to find it. I think it was called checkered. There you go. And now there's two ways you could do this. You can either plonk this on top and it'll apply it to everything. And then you do the white mask again, or you could just put it underneath it. And because it's under the layer, it shouldn't have an effect on this which it doesn't. That looks pretty good. If we come into here, if we click literally this, you have loads of settings from the get go. So if I do want to change some of this up and change the colors, I can. I don't know, something like that, don't really matter. Now let's say we just want some dirt on it. If we go into smart materials right there, you can drag that on top because we want it to apply to everything. Just put it on top of everything like that. Now it's dirty, you can come into here and click the mask here and click that. And this will allow you to change your balance. So how much dirt you want. And if you do want dirt to come on the bottom because it's on the bottom of it, we can find a dirt texture ourselves. Like this, we want it to be on top and that's gonna cover the whole thing. Go to your smart masks, ground dirt, drag that on top of that material. So you saw that, I'll undo that and do it again. Drag it on top of the dirt, click on it, go to that one, and then I can go about just changing the height of it. So if I want it to cover like a majority of it like that, we can, or if I want it to be lower and more contrasted, I can change that to like that. And that is how you sort of sort out some basic materials for your substance stuff. Um, I didn't go through too much there, but that will put you, that if you just want some basic materials on a lot of your assets, that will be enough for you to do that. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you do want to see more in-depth stuff on substance, please leave a comment asking for it. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.